Shalom. First off, I want to start off by saying all praises, honor, and glory is due to Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Rakakadash. Just all praises to the world called God, whose true name in Hebrew is Yahweh, by Hashem, and in the name Yahweh Shai, being the name of the only begotten Son. Also, I want to say double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and mercy to the hopeful like preaching, sport, and truth and sincerity. My brother Tazabon in Great Millstone, Arizona, Kent, Lord Will, with another video to edify. And, uh, just got to go on to this video that's a uh, surface of vocab Malone. All right, no class vocab Malone. And this dude has already shown himself to be a damn ass. And now here he goes talking about Apostle Tahar and a God we speak of is made up. When in actuality, the God that you people worship, that Cesare Christ, right? That was all made up. The Heavenly Father of the Bible, right? And His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. Being okay with, uh, uh, with the alphabet community, right? Being okay with all the stuff that Christianity has preached as as the way to go and the way to be. That was all a made up God. Right? The idea that the Lord is here for everybody. Right? And he doesn't specify people that he's coming to deliver. That was all made up. Right? So I'm going to play this. I'm going to get some precepts. Lord, will this be edified? That shows their God. And I've just established he's not, there's no God at all. It's an idol, product of their own imagination or desires. Sure. The God whom Nathaniel of IUIC talks about is not real. The God whom Ben Ami wrote about will never be. The God whom Tahar of GMS makes videos about has never existed. The God whom Kulan Mitchell himself, he believed he was God. He called no, it says on the top, it says the non-existent idol of idol god of israelism well when you go into the scriptures israel had a god it said the god of abraham the god of isaac and the god of jacob right and that went into the 12 tribes so where is this god that that welcomes everybody in vocab malone has already shown his ass when he came out here right to us right in Arizona County, he's already shown his ass. Letting you know that he doesn't really come to do what the Lord said. He came to do what he felt. It will come to not, okay, number okay, one. So, but number two, brother, they have to. On, bro. What if you okay. say? And peep this, man. Peep what he says. Peep what he says. And he got caught up. And this shows you what he is, man. Because he's against what the scriptures say. He only preaches and believes in. And he's only willing to, to to say what he's been taught and not what the scriptures actually say. Sorry for cutting you off. No, I for wanna, you know, make you mad. But if you're saying that what this is gonna fall in the future, then why don't you just let us fall, man? Yeah. Right. When I see a bad thing but being just, built, I'd rather it fall now instead of later. Right, but oh, so you were doing your own will and not the Lord's will. Oh, no, no. Let me bring a scripture for that. Because I would rather it fall now. Three, 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 and the scriptures tell you what? Yeah, the Lord's will. Yeah, that the Lord's got to wait for the Lord to no, brother, wait for the that's, Lord. Oh, the, the Jewish rap. You see? You see? He's already shown his ass, man. He's here to do what he wants. He's not here to wait on the Lord. He's not here to do what the Lord commanded. He's here to do what he wants. Right, this dude has been been found out, man. This is um Matthew sixteen and started at uh twenty one. It says, "For that time, from from that time forth, began Yahweh shall to show unto his disciples how that he must suffer, how that he must go." Through unto Jerusalem and suffer many things of the elders and the chief priests and the scribes and be killed and be raised again the third day. Then Peter took him and began to rebuke him saying, be it far from thee, Lord, this is not, this 
this shall not be unto thee. Right? And this is what he's this is what he's doing with the word. This is what he's doing with understanding how the Lord really acts, how the Lord really is. This is why the scriptures say, Happy thou, O Jerusalem, for the things that are pleasing unto the most high may note unto thee. The, the, the heathen aren't going to keep those things sacred, but the elect will. Right? It says, But he turned and said unto Peter, Get thee behind me, Satan. Thou art an offense unto me, for thou savorest not the things that be of the most high, but those that be of men. And this is what he does. He does not savor the things that be of the Lord. That's why when we preach how the Lord really acts, how the Lord really does things, right? And we go to the scriptures, we get the understanding. We can go precept upon precept upon precept upon precept. He bucks up against it because he doesn't savor the things of the Lord. He, he worries about the things of men. And men have taught that everybody can be saved. That no matter what you're doing, the Lord loves you. Right? He's taught that that women, women could be preachers and pastors, even though the scriptures say otherwise. This dude savors and he attains unto the things of man and not to the things of the most high. This is John 4. And 23, and it says, um, uh, I started 22. It says, you worship, you know not what we worship. We, it says, we know what we worship for salvation is other Jews, but he'll, he'll plug in everybody else into that. It says, but the hour cometh and now is when the true worshipers shall worship the father in spirit and truth. Now he spoke about apostle the heart. Well, that extends down to the men that, that follow the same teachings that he's taught us all. Right. So, go to Apostle Tahar, Apostle Gabar, Apostle Ramlab, Iramlab, Apostle Rakar, and all the way down, man. So this dude <laughs> doesn't know what he worships, right? He 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 just goes by his feelings. He does what he wants. He you heard it, you heard it. He does what he wants. He don't, he ain't gonna wait for the Lord. He gonna do what he wants. Says, but the hour cometh that now is when the worshippers. When the true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. And what is the spirit? Right? What is truth? The word. The scriptures tell you, John 6 and 63. The spirit itself bear witness. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are uh are truth. Right? Really, that's how it goes, man. So the true worshipers are actually going to the scriptures and and be okay with everything that the Lord said. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. And you can see that Christianity is on an advanced decline. Because these people are literally just, just going away. And now they're saying the, the God that we preach is made up. But we can actually go to the scriptures to back up the things that we preach about. The Most High is the Spirit and they that worship him must worship him in the spirit and in truth. Right. So what you got to actually care what the word of the Lord says, and you have to actually apply those things and fully believe the scriptures tell you the just shall live by faith. Faith in what the scriptures, but Christianity comes and, and, and has their faith in whatever they feel. That's why when you hear a Christian try to break something down, he says, I believe I feel. No, we, we know, we, we understand that this is what the scriptures say, and we stand by it. Psalms 50, 50 and, and 16, he says, But unto the wicked, the Most High, say, What hast thou to do to declare my statutes, or that thou sh shouldest take my cup in thy mouth? And that's 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 what has to be said to vocab. Because he, he goes by how never he feels. Existed. Right? Now, one scripture has he brought up to sit here and, and, and refute. I, I know this is a snippet, but he ain't brought up no scriptures to show what parts of the scriptures that we say is off. He just, <laughs> he does you like an Edomite. You're wrong because I said. Right? That's what he does. It's vocab. It's the Edomite mindset, man. Verse 17, seeing thou hatest instruction and castest my word behind thee. And that's what he's done. Right? The scriptures tell you the Lord is a man of war, but vocab would say the Lord is all loving. Scriptures tell you the Lord was only going to come and save his people from their sins. 
but he'll say all the believers are his people. Well, there's a bloodline in that, but he'll deny the bloodline, right? This is, um, I'm going to end it on this one, because this is really what he comes in. This is how he, how this man moves. He moves just like proud-ass heathen, he right? Isaiah 36 and 13, then uh, Rabshik, Rabshaki, Rabshaka, Rabshaka stood and cried with a loud voice in the Jews' language and, and said, Hear ye the words of the great king, the king of Assyria. Right? Because he, he, he puts up the rulers of this world, not the, the Lord's word as the, as the rule. It says, Thus say, say the king, let not Hezekiah deceive you. For, for he shall not be able to deliver you, neither let Hezekiah make you trust in the Lord. And this is what he's saying. Don't let them men in GMS make you trust in what they say, what the scriptures actually say, right? Neither let Hezekiah make you trust in the word of, uh, trust in Yahweh saying, Yahweh shall surely deliver us. This city shall not be delivered into the hand of of the king of Assyria, hearken not unto Hezekiah, for thus said the king of Assyria, make an agreement with, with me by a present. And this is what he wants. Come back to the Christian law. That's what he wants. And come out, out to me and eat ye every one of his vine and every one of his fig tree and drink ye every one of the waters of his own cistern until I come and take you away to a land like, like your own land, a land of corn and wine, a land of bread or vineyards, and this is what he wants you to do. Come, come back to the Christian church, put put that Hebrew as a light title away, and you just go back to being the same nigga you was before. This is what he wants, right? The guy you talking about don't exist. That's what he's saying. But we understand that, hey, the truth has been getting strong, and you Christians have been going down. Because what you preach wasn't the word of the Lord. So nobody had anything really to stand on. But what the Israelites preached, hey, we've been able to sit here and weather storms through the belief in Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. The one you say is made up. But Lord willing, this is at a final say, call Allah Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, Bashim Rakakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the whole life.